could have another baby, God, but you. But you thank you, God. We thank you because nothing is too late for you, God. I declare, God, that no weapon formed against her will prosper. And that she would know all her life that you have called her out of darkness into to marvelous light. I pray against trauma. For a really long time, I thought that my happiness was supposed to come from the people around me or a boyfriend or money or things, but then I met Jesus. Do it sad, do it angry, do it heartbroken, do it miserable, do it excited, do it energized, do it happy, do it tired, do it confident, do it discouraged, do it anyway. Rule number 27, be so confident in God's plan that you don't even get upset anymore when things don't go your way. So you get to Christ, the more sinful you're going to feel. Did you realize that? Everyone who's ever seen a true reflection of God is deeply convicted of his own sin. Peter said, Lord, depart from me, for I'm a sinful man. The fact that you're aware of your sin and feel guilty about it is a sign of spiritual life.
Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, and many people will deny it, but it is the truth. Also, many people will call themselves a Christian, but won't live the life as one. In Matthew 7, verse... And if God led you in it, he's going to lead you through it and bring you out of it. Oh my God, put that in your spirit. If he led me to it, he's going to lead me through it and bring me out of it. The first reason we pray is to invite God in. God's a gentleman. He's not going to invade your life. You're going to have to let him in. The Bible says it like this. Um, in, in Revelations 3.20, it says, look, I stand at the door and I knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. What we want God to do is be like, boom, I am the Holy One of Israel here to clean and change everything in your life. Hey, it's me. Hey, I was wondering today, could I, could I come into your house and clean up some stuff and help you? Oh, no, no, no. You're too busy. Oh, you got a new boyfriend. Okay, cool. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, yes, yeah, me again. J just wanted to see today. I, I heard some whimpering, some crying, some things that aren't settled in your life. Hey, I, I could come in and, and help you. Well, well, no, I have things that aren't fixed yet. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Because I'm, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I rebuild things. Rebuild lives. As a matter of fact, I come with the cleaning clue called the Holy Spirit. And we'll come in and you don't even have to worry. You, all you have to do is let us in. And God is standing at the door of your life every day. And he's knocking and he's knocking and he's knocking. And he's saying, when you pray, you invite him in. So when you pray about your family, when you pray about your school, when you pray about what college you're supposed to go to, when you say, God, I need your direction. I need you to help me. I need you to give me peace about where I'm supposed to go. What you're doing is you're inviting God you look lonely. I can fix that. I used to hear a simple song. That was until you came along. Now in its place is something new. I hear it when I look at you. Remember when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. I'm so thirsty. Oh, uh, here's some water. Oh, I'm saved. <laughs> I believe if I drink this water, I will not die. Good, now drink it. I believe if I drink this water, what the? I will not die. What are you waiting for? I believe if I drink, just drink this water. Do it! Ah! <coughs> um, <laughs> who cares if you believe it if you don't act on it? Honestly, if you want to get closer to God, I feel like it's so important to just like realize that like everything is just better with God, you know? And when I have God at the center, I'm always going to feel better, I'm always going to do better. Even if I'm alone, like I always know there's somebody there with me like through all of it and somebody who knows how I feel when I'm not maybe able to tell everybody else. I can always pray. Prayer is the one thing I can always do to make myself feel better. Hey, if I'm in a quiet room and nobody's around, bro, I'll lay it all out before God. I'll start crying. I'll start saying crazy stuff. You know, you, just, you gotta let that stuff out and understand that like everything with God is just so much better and when you don't have God, everything's gonna, gonna feel a little harder. And even if it doesn't feel hard, you're always going to feel if you're close to God, this, I'm, I'm so much better. I'm so much stronger. I'm so much faster. And life's just, it's better. 
Life with God is better. What can I say? Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben, me too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Why is prayer so powerful? It's powerful because it's you having a conversation with the God of this universe, but it's just so much more than that. It's you connected to the source of life, the person that actually gives life. You're not just talking to someone that loves you, you're talking to the source of love, to someone that died for you that chose to die for you. Prayer doesn't end with just what we ask God or what we share with God or what we say to God. But when we're connected to the source of life, also something happens in us when we're praying to Him. We get changed. We get inspired. We get fulfilled. We get called. I see who you are, you are my enemy, my enemy, you are my enemy.